Hey guys, Luke here, and welcome back to episode 2 of my BF Pro series with James Hart, where the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs full back. In this episode, we're going to be taking on the Penrith Panthers and the Eels, and it's going to be round 1 and 2 of the NRL Premiership season, or 2 out of cut for us, actually. Now, uh, we're doing a little drill here, and that's just to try and get um, some more XP, I suppose is the right word, career XP, something like that, which um, every time you level up, it gives you 5 more points to spend, and as you can see, we just moved up to a 67 rated player. Um, we're sort of adding things all over the all over the shop, trying to get a little bit more stamina, because we're seeing I've seen that as a weakness as well as um, trying to get our tackling a little bit more uh, better. But I sort of think they go hand in hand because I noticed that the tackles that we're missing are coming when we're uh, very tired, but um, the tackles that we are making aren't very convincing, which is a little bit worrying considering the step up to first grade might be a little bit tough. But uh, anyways, first grade probably not going to be on the cards for at least this season, I'd say. And I'm not even sure if we're exactly able to. I don't believe we are because all we've got is a Toyota Cup contract. Now, to start off the game, we had a forward pass thrown to us. What I was trying to do is just try and be the lead runner and, and well, sort of not get the ball. I, w I wasn't trying to get the ball, actually. I was trying to sort of... um just be a decoy, and instead they threw it to me, and the reason I, like, I ran off offside on purpose, oh, sorry, ran in offside position on purpose, got in front of the play, so he wouldn't pass it to me, so he had to guarantee throw at the back, and he still passed it to me, so a little disappointing there, but as you can see here, 22 minutes in, we've already considered a try, which was not my fault, um, maybe I could have got in position to maybe have a last-ditch effort, but Apart from that, we couldn't do much about it. But just being all defence, I think this is the first time we've had the ball um, in attack. And we get driven back about 10 metres there. So a little bit disappointing. As you can see, we're just playing like total shit. And, um, you know, that's probably going to be the story of um, our season at the Bulldogs under-20s. Not really renowned for being a great under-20s side. But, uh, I mean, I think it's more about individual performances for me. Um, as you can see here, we just left the ball, thought it'd be more suitable, and that's something that you can do if you hold the right um, analog stick. I'm not going to say I purposely tried to do it then, but um, it is what it is, and it ended up leaving it. So uh, 6-0, I believe it is, at half time. Yes, it was, and uh, just constantly line break after line break, and that's what I'm finding. I'm a fair way ahead of you, and I just keep finding that there's just so many line breaks, and I'm not sure if that if that is due to it being a holding cup side and our team just sucks, or is that just uh, the difficulty, or I'm not sure exactly what's the case there, but uh, we had a nice little kick chase there, we made a tackle, now we have to follow it up, it's just a more poor defense, they just run from dummy half there, it was really, really shit defense, and um, yeah, now this is about the second time we've touched the ball and attack, it's just been all defense for us. Uh, I'm not going to try and force myself to get involved, like I'm not going to run over and just grab the ball every single time, but if I feel there's something uh, we can do, I'm going to try and do it. Unfortunately, uh, I tried a little bit too much there. We got um, we got away with the step, and I saw there was a player right next to me. I thought we'd go for the offload. Didn't really work out, and uh, ended up giving away the ball. Thankfully, nothing happened, and we were able to just leave that ball and uh, let it go to the dead ball line with a seven tackle set. Now, there was an offload that went to the ground. There was another one that went to the ground just there, but the uh, other one was a little bit significant because it showed that um, you know a change of direction isn't the greatest, but at the same time, it can still be uh, quite effective. We've got the pace to um, really do some damage, um, as you can see right here. Got around the first defender, uh, but couldn't get around it anymore. That's how the game's going to end. It's quite disappointing to lose the, the first game of the season, but like I said earlier, I mean, it is a team game on this, but... I'm more looking at individual sort of um, performances. If I've had a good game, I'm happy with that. I don't really care if the team wins. And that might sound selfish, but it is under 20s. And, uh, you know, love the guys on the side, but um, that's not my ultimate goal. My ultimate goal is to be in the NRL. And I know you've got to um, play well in the under 20s to uh, get up to the NRL and that sort of stuff. And you've got to be able to show you can work in a side, especially at the fullback position. But... You know, so there's just no go forward and all that sort of stuff. So I'm not really too fond of my teammates at this stage. But um, yeah, it is what it is, and we just got to try and got to try and get through the season as best as we can. And um, when there's an opportunity, we got to definitely take it. And you know, I think this is a great opportunity against the Eels. They have a pretty solid uh, under 20 side. I think they might not be the best, but you know, they're they're an okay side, probably up to uh, our sort of standard, I'd say. Now, we got our first kick return here. Get around. Uh, we got around the first defender, which is really, really nice there. And I, I find that the change of pace is uh, quite effective on this game. Now, a very poor offload there, but I think I'm just trying to sort of get myself in the game and um, trying to do a little bit too much early on, but that's just going to happen with uh, inexperience. We are only an 18-year-old, uh, after all. 
And that was a good kick return. Oh, sorry, kick chase, I should say there. I keep saying kick return. Uh, there was kick chase, and then there was a nice little tackle there. So uh, you can see here, I saw there was a, a spilled ball, or a ball on the ground, and I thought we'd go after it. And there was a split second where I thought, well, are actually going to get to it. And that results in a fifth tackle where we're sort of out of position, but we're going to go across, and I think it's Montoya or whatever, the winger. And we see a little bit of a gap, and we go through that gap. Now Hart, he's in space. Can he get there? Can he get to the line? 40 out. They're coming across. But it looks like we're going to have too much space. I'm not sure if that's the fullback, whoever it is. But get the fuck out of here. We're scoring. Now, they did actually go up to the VRF. And I'm not exactly sure why. Um, because I thought it was pretty obvious we got it down. I know they had a last-ditch attempt to um, try and you know, get their hands on hands on me. And they did uh, get around the legs. But I don't really see how that's going to stop a, a try being scored. Did go for the spectacular put-down for some reason. And I've noticed on this game that's a little bit of a... It's a little bit of a thing where they'll go for that no matter, like, you don't have to be right on the sideline, you just have to be somewhere in the general vicinity of the edge, and they'll go for the, the big spectacular dive, spectacular put down, whatever it's called. Now, 4-0, we're actually leading this game, which is a little bit of a, a shock to me, um, but, uh, you know, we're having a really, really good game thus far. Our tackling's been top-notch uh, in, in attack, we've been very, very good. You saw there another nice little run. And we're going to find ourselves on the end of an offload there, which you end up putting down. Well, I don't know if that was actually class as us losing the ball or did Eagles touch it or whatever, but I just wanted to show that just to show what sort of a uh, caliber of teammates we're playing with at this stage. Who You know, they think it's acceptable to throw an offload. I've just played the ball and I'm just standing there and you want to run it dummy half and throw an offload straight away. Like, I'm not sure what you're trying to do there or why you thought that was good. Now, another another thing you're showing a team and that was there was a, um, a strip and it was very, very poor. I'm finding stripping scenes a little bit overpowered in this game. For the opposition, I can't do it. I can't do it for the life of me. But, um, yeah. Now, we're going to pick up the ball here. And James Hart is away. And they're not going to catch him here. They've got a fullback coming across. But we've just got way too much space. I will say, my player is absolutely fucked in um, stamina. After the first run, we're all gone. As you can see here, we've got barely any stamina left. And um, although that is nice to score the second try on that for the rest of the game, I wouldn't be expecting to do too much. At least that's that's what you would think anyways, but we can see here we made that tackle Well, it wasn't us, but we're gonna put in a little grubber It's gonna deflect and uh, my dude's gonna pick it up and he's gonna race away like the field So you can take a look at that. They did have a fullback coming across, but he was no chance We have enough pace. Uh, we actually we got like in the 90s in speed, but in terms of our actual acceleration Acceleration is very poor and max speed is in the 70s So uh, we actually aren't super super fast, but I suppose in terms of holding cut plays we are uh, quite quick and you know, in a foot race, we can probably um, go with the best of them in, in the Holden Cup, I'd say. At least in this game. Now, yeah, like I said, I think I was saying earlier, uh, talking about Stroop and all that sort of stuff. But you may have noticed there was a time where I should have left the ball. But it kind of ran into me the first time. And then I needed to make a play at the ball. And, yeah, it didn't really work out. You can see here our dude's super tired. And Alec Bush just runs straight around us. Now, that was very poor defense. But at the same time, like, I've made that many tackles covering these guys' asses, and uh, once again, we're just going to get absolute pancake just here. Uh, that was a little bit of uh, Jared Hayne in the NFL, I'd say. We just got absolutely destroyed by the Smith guy, um, the center. Really shouldn't be getting destroyed by a center like that, as it looks it looks so comical, but um, can you blame a loss on us if, if this is what it comes to? I don't think you can, because look at, look at we made another tackle, another line break, you know, can't make all the tackles. But are we going to save it right here? Hart, he's got an open line here. No, he doesn't. Fullback coming across. But we're going to step inside. And we take it around the fullback. We're going for under the post. Can't quite get under the post. But good enough. And we score our hat-trick. James Hart, uh, is this our breakthrough game? I think it might be. Now, we take it straight around the fullback. He had no chance just there. And we're just going to dive over. And we're going to score the game-winning try, the match-winning try. Uh, Guy Hamilton keep the goal, and he's kicked two from three, so not too bad, and we win our first game of the season, and I'm pretty happy about that, I thought we played a phenomenal game, you can see we got man in the match, and in terms of um, player ratings, 127, that's probably the highest I've seen in any game, including up to what I've played now, and in terms of running meters, we made 321 running meters, three long range tries, you would say, uh, in particular, the, the second one, and the first one was just yeah, broken play and that sort of stuff, but um, yeah, a really, really nice play, uh, nice game, I should say. And uh, you see, we're a 68 rated now, so getting a lot better. 
um, getting leveled up and all that sort of stuff. And um, yeah, that's where the videos are going to end. Hopefully, you have enjoyed it. Hopefully, you have enjoyed those tries as much as I did. I thought they were phenomenal. And if you can leave a like, it'd be very much appreciated. If we can hit 40 likes, that'd be awesome. Um, subscribe to my channel. Uh, follow me on Twitter at MrLukeMYT. Face the page in the description below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.